Hi, I'm Doug Bennett with the Southern Nevada Water Authority, and today we're going to answer some common questions about drip irrigation. One of the first things people want to know is why use drip? Well, a drip system is more efficient because the plants are taking the water from the soil, so why not put the water right at the soil? So they're literally just going to drip that that water into the soil very slowly and that does two things it eliminates the potential that that droplet be blown off target or even evaporate before it reaches the plant roots and the soil interface and it also ensures that we don't get runoff when you apply it really slowly you ensure that it's all being absorbed by the soil sprinkler systems for example sometimes will put on the water so quickly that it's literally going to run off or sheet off away from the plants root zone so a common question is how often should I run my drip system? And that really depends. It depends on the plants you've got and the design of the system. But a good rule of thumb is that you would never run a drip system as frequently as you would run a sprinkler system to maintain a lawn. Good rule of thumb might be that during the summer months, you might only be running a drip system once or twice per week. In the winter months, you might run a drip system once a week or even every other week depending on the conditions and the types of plants you have. Just keep an eye on the plants. Uh, the, the plants that operate on drip are very resilient. They'll give you lots of warning if you're underwatering. They're not gonna drop dead in a day. So you can adjust your strategy as you go. So now that you know you're only going to run a drip system every few days or even every few weeks, depending on the seasonal weather, how long should you run it? And that can be anywhere from about 30 minutes to 90 minutes is typical, but it has a lot to do with how many emitters you have and how much water those emitters are putting out. If you only have a single emitter, then it would take a long run time to put out enough water to sustain a plant. So you need to take into account what the design standards of your system are to be able to determine if it's getting enough water. Are these high flow emitters, are there lots of them? That means a very short run time. If they're low flow emitters, literally droplets falling from the emitter, and there's only a one or two of them per plant, then you might be looking at a 60 to 90 minute run time. So one of the more confusing things is coming up with these different schedules. How do I water a lawn, for example, on a, on a six day a week basis during the summer, but only water my drip irrigated plants every three or four days during the summer? The solution to that is in your irrigation controller. A lot of people don't realize it, but every irrigation controller has multiple programs. It's basically like having three controllers in one. So you're gonna have a program A, a program B, and a program C. Each of those is unique and distinct and doesn't interact with the other programs at all. And typically what people do is program a lawn to water on program A and program B will be watering the drip irrigation. So you kind of have to get in the right mindset when you go in there that now I'm working on program A and now I'm going to flick the switch. I'm going to go to program B and some of the smart controllers have dozens of programs that you can put in to meet different needs. We talked a lot about design, but something you need to keep in mind is that the design of your drip system needs to flex as your plants grow and their needs change. So when you put a small plant in, it may be perfectly fine to have one or two emitters applying water right at the base of that plant, but if you expect the roots to expand the way we need them to into the surrounding soil, there's got to be moisture in that soil. So you may either have to add emitters put larger emitters to expand the amount of water going on there, or even use a different type of design and modify your design as your plants grow so that they will expand their roots and become more drought tolerant over the long haul.